Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is kind of a unique episode, unique in that that I started to do this. I had to stop doing this episode. I had to go back and look through my catalog of older episodes because as I started talking, everything I was saying sounded familiar. And I'm like, did I already do this episode? And I went back and looked and it's like, no, I didn't. And then I'm scratching my head going, my God, why? how is it that I'm constantly finding new applications for the core tackle wacky shot and the answer is well this is a this is a piece of terminal tackle that hasn't existed up until now and we're just continuing to find new ways to use this unique piece of terminal tackle so guys stick around i got another one another way to use the core tackle wacky shot welcome back to mark fisher outdoors everybody guys before we get to yet another tip about the wacky shot from core tackle if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. We would appreciate that. We want you to be a part of the Mark Fisher Outdoors community Monday through Friday with tips, uh, fishing tips, things about the industry, things about fishing. Join us. Come along for the ride here. We'd appreciate that. All right, so let's get to this. I tell you what, the wacky shot. I knew when Matt told me about this, before I had ever laid eyes on it, I knew I was gonna love this little deal, this little wacky shot from Core Tackle. Uh, and, and I love throwing it just as a wacky rig. But one of the things that happened when I was at Lake Champlain is that I was getting pretty good using forward-facing sonar. I was, it was really a, I, I said this before, I learned more about using forward facing on Lake Champlain in five days than I've learned in the last two, three years put together. And I was really getting to the point where I was able to scope around, see the fish set up and know what fish I was throwing to and make accurate casts to throw to them. But there were times when the fish were set up higher off the bottom. If they were Closer to the bottom, I was using a drop shot. If they were set up higher off the bottom, I had been throwing a Ned rig, so I was throwing that. But that Ned rig would either get bit or would swim away from them too fast, and that would be the end. You'd have to make another cast. Well, if you remember the last episode I did, I talked about throwing a small little four-inch Cinco on beds, deep smallmouth beds, with the idea being that the weight would get it down onto the bed quickly to be able to entice the strike. It was on the deck of my boat. I was struggling getting bit with a Ned rig when I was throwing to suspended smallmouth that were in deeper water. And so I picked this up, not wanting it to get down to the bed, but just wanting to get it into the water to be able to place this profile in front of a suspended smallmouth that was in 12 feet of water, but was maybe only four or five feet down from the surface of the water. And sure enough, as soon as I threw this bait and it sank, I could see this bait in relation to the fish on my screen and was able to keep this bait from sinking any further by just putting line tension on the line lifting up on my rod tip and then it would when i had to pull it away it could come away i could keep it at the same depth and i wouldn't be wouldn't have to swim it away as fast and i tell you what they were eating it and as you see in this clip, I'm, I'm looking at my screen and seeing the fish, making a determination about how far it is. 
and then literally just working the bait so that I can see the bait in relation to the fish on the screen and trying to keep that bait approximately the same level and not moving it too far away and and it's working out real real well so guys yet another application for the core tackle wacky shot on smallmouth using a little four inch cinco and using it on suspending fish that you're looking at using forward facing sonar Hope it helps. Try it out. Don't leave it out of your arsenal if you're in a situation where you're fishing suspended smallies. Guys, we hope this helps. We hope you have a great weekend, and we will talk to you again on Monday. Thank you for following Mark Fisher Outdoors. Take care, everybody.